Hey, what's going on guys? Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. Let's talk about the Outdoor Vitals Summit Zero Degree Down Sleeping Bag today. I had this out on a few different nights and I gotta say, I am impressed. Let me take these sunglasses off so you can see my eyes. It's not that dark or bright out here. <laughs> this product really is a great redesign of kind of like their flagship style sleeping bag. So the Summit is an 800 fill down sleeping bag. It's got a hydrophobic down on the inside, which means that it has like a DWR treatment on the down, which will help it if it does get wet from condensation of your foot box or anything or your head end touching like the inside wall of your tent and getting wet, then you're not going to have to deal with a lot of the down clumping up and that kind of thing that can become a pain when you are out on the trail for multiple nights in a row. It makes it difficult, particularly in the winter and the cold months, for you to effectively dry your gear while you're out on the trail. Some of the things that they have done with this Summit bag that are a redesign, if you will, from their like original Summit series is now you have a center zipper that goes down the center of the bag, making it so you don't have like a right side zipper or a left side zipper for you to get in and out of the bag. You just zip it down straight down the front and they've got a really cool YKK zipper system that I've not seen on any other kind of uh, sleeping bag zipper and it's more or less like supposed to be snag free. I can't say that it's been a hundred percent for me, especially when you are laying down inside of the bag. Things are always a little bit different than when I'm holding the bag here and zipping it down. But this is uh, the zero degree version. So you've got this big open zipper, but one of the things that might be kind of a downside to this center zip is once you open the bag up, now you've lost all of that hot air that you've trapped into, like you're getting out to use the bathroom in the middle of the night. So I can't say that in the temperatures and the 20 degree temperatures that I've had this bag at, that that's been an issue for me and I don't anticipate that to be a, a big problem. Been able to stay plenty warm and sleep nice and warm. And the thing that's cool about this, let me just open this back up, is on either side of the zipper, they have this full boxed baffle that just really locks in the heat inside of the bag and doesn't let it escape through that center zipper, which is really nice. And even here where the, the zipper terminates, that baffle goes all the way down past the zipper. So they're really thinking about making sure that you're not losing heat when you are sleeping at night, keeping yourself nice and warm. Let's talk a little bit more here about the, the head end and the shoulder baffles and such that they've got here on this bag. My biggest complaint about the bag is that I wish the hood wasn't as shallow. There's not much space up here. Like you would not be able to get you know, a full size pillow in here. Not like a pillow, a backpacking pillow. Come on guys, not, not from your home. <laughs> a full size like backpacking blow up pillow. And uh, so that's my one piece of feedback for them on this bag is make the hood a little bit larger so that it's not so shallow and that I'm required to use these drawstring closures on either side of the, of the bag. That's really, really closed up <laughs> a lot more than it needs to be. But you do have these drawstring closures on either side of the hood it's basically like right here at the top of your forehead and doesn't really come down like you get from other bags. But the way that the, the bag is shaped, I hope you can, can see this, you've got these like shoulder baffles. And so the bag really is just body mapped designed, uh, for lack of a, of a better phrase, to fit the anatomy of your body. And so you've got warmth in those shoulders, good baffle design system and such that's going to help make it so that the down doesn't get compressed in those areas. And as a side sleeper myself, I have not really had any issues with the way that the bag is designed and being able to rotate and find the zipper to be able to get in and out when I've had to get out to use the bathroom. And then the other aspects about this bag are you've got like a zoned baffle design. So you've got vertical baffles through the torso down through about the knee thigh area and that's going to help the 
down from shifting from side to side laterally so you don't have now these empty pockets of down that are here above your chest where you need to in your core where you need to stay the warmest and then down here at the foot end you have horizontal baffles that create that kind of added extra warmth around the foot box and got a nice shaped foot box here hopefully you can see this Plenty tall, and this was a suggestion that I had made back in the original Summit uh, review that I did on this bag uh, for my buddy Jared, who had purchased this bag. But you've got a good, nice, nice tall foot-shaped foot box, which I really appreciate. You've also got loops here for hanging and storage, which is nice. But the thing about it is it boxed, boxed baffling through the entire thing, which is going to keep your body warm, and that's what you're looking for when you're spending time in the backcountry and you're trying to sleep. So other than that, this 10 denier ripstop polyester fabric also has a uh, DWR coating on it. So this thing is really, really lightweight. And the amount of fill in here, I think, does accomplish the temperature rating that is advertised. I slept in my underwear with a light pullover on, just kind of like what I'm wearing right now. And it got down to about 25 degrees. I had socks on, but I was in my underwear. I was more than warm, like plenty warm. I was basically sweating in the bag. So the zero degree definitely is for me a proper degree rating for the bag. Another thing that I didn't talk about that I should is these little shoulder baffles that are kind of like draft collar baffles that are here inside of the bag. And they've got a piece of Velcro that pull that apart. I can attach that to either side of the bag. And all that's going to do is create a lot more warmth. So it's almost like I'm getting a hood here inside of the, the bag that's it's just really going to eliminate those draft points in the bag and really cool design, really cool like thought process going in behind that. But guys, this bag really is impressive and I, I like it, I really like it. It's lightweight and fits me well. The fabric is nice and soft on the touch. The fabric on the inside, just this polyester material is not quite as soft like once you get kind of like moist or you've just been out on the trail for a little bit and you're kind of sticky you know your skin does stick in into the fabric a little bit but it's really not that big of a deal so guys i mean this bag is cool it really is and aside from the hood not being a great shape and that needing some work on it everything else is really dialed in and i'm really happy with it i think they've done a great job of making sure with this 2020 update on these bags that it's uh, something that people are going to want to use and keep using and have the ability to use for a long time. So there you go, guys. This is the Outdoor Vitals Summit 2020 redesign, zero degree, 800 fill down sleeping bag. Really cool. Thanks for watching today, guys. If you are not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe. Hit the little bell notification to get notified when I post new videos. Hope you have an awesome day. We'll catch you on the next video.